Gemini, welcome to your full moon reading. Full moon is coming up in the, the beginning of June. Okay, so just watch out for these energies. The full moon is going to highlight certain things uh, for us all. So we're going to see what is being highlighted for you, Gemini. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and drop the rest. Trust your intuition. Very nice. So intuition being highlighted. Okay, for you, Gemini. Let's see what else. And we have here spells and rituals. Bring magic and self-care together. Cute. <laughs> nice energies there. So highlighting self-care. Bring magic. So magic could be, you know, rituals that you may have or certain herbs, essential oils that you want to use. Okay. Let's see what else for Gemini. We have here emotion. Ooh, some emotional stuff. Emotional charge. Energy. So be aware. Keep your emotions in check as the full moon comes about. Okay. Let's see what we have for Gemini. We have observer. Observe your emotions. Observe your intuition. Okay. Take a stand of being an observer. That's very good advice so that you don't get caught in the drama. Okay. That's, that may be happening around you. So for Gemini, this is the Luna Lapin tarot deck. This is the moon and rabbit energy. Let's see what is being highlighted for you. We have the emperor. We have nine of swords. What else? I'm going to take all the cards together and then I'm going to read them energetically to, and then piece the story together for you. Let's see what else. Okay. What else does Gemini need to know? Queen of Cups. This is also about intuition. We have clarity. We have the end of suffering. And then we have sunrise. Very nice. Okay. You know, interestingly, you have nine of swords and then you have ten of swords. Okay. The nine of swords is really looking at you know, all the things that you've been worried about for a while uh, that's been bugging you. And then, you know, you're going to come to the end of that suffering. Okay. All the anxiety, you know, is it really going to go away because you're going to have clarity. Now, before you reach there, certain things you need to take care of. And that would be self-discipline. Okay. To have greater self-leadership, self-discipline, take care of yourself very well. Self-care is so important. Keep your emotions in check. Now, Seven of Cups is also telling you that certain things um, may not be as clear emotionally. So it could be an illusion. It can look like an opportunity, but it may not be, especially when it comes to uh, emotional health and emotional well-being. So you do need to exercise uh, self-leadership and self-care. Um, greater discipline is needed so that you can truly end that cycle, the toxic cycle, uh, perhaps that has been plaguing you, and then is the end of suffering, all right? Then you will start a new beginning with clarity, and this is about intuition, and you're going to have, you know, greater clarity. So what's going to happen in the full moon is the full moon is going to shine light into this. The full moon is going to shine light into areas of your life that you have not taken care of properly or maybe you have neglected that part of yourself Gemini and the full moon is going to highlight that right so it is a good thing when it highlights it okay sometimes people don't like it when some of their their not so strong traits or not so nice traits are being highlighted but it is for your good because with that you have clarity and with clarity, you can take better care of yourself, right? And you can be a better observer of what's going on in your life and situations in your life. And you have the sunrise, right? The sun is going to shine really brightly for you. And, you know, it becomes a, a much better life in that sense, okay? So the full moon is doing you a favor. 
okay, by highlighting maybe parts of self that you may not like, but <laughs> it's all for greater good. Now, let's see what is this. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about keeping it balanced, all right, uh, giving and receiving. So you're going to have a hangman, right? Hangman, hangman moment is when you're going to have a different perspective. You, it's like a wake-up call, right? Like what we said, a wake-up call. The full moon is going to, you know, give you that wake-up call that you need, you know, to make you surrender to the reality of life, okay? And then we have Knight of Pentacles. You're going to, Knight of Pentacles is about being practical. So time to get practical, time to be realistic about things that's happening around you and commit yourself to your new path. Commit yourself to this new beginning, right? Is When something ends, something new has to begin, right? That's it's as simple as that. So, um, the Nine of Pentacles is showing you that in your career, in your work life, right? Something is, you know, you just need to be practical, hardworking, and then you will have clarity. And then you're going to develop, you know, allow your intuition to guide you. And you have the sunrise energy. So sunrise energy is very good. It's like blessing, shining light. So not only do we have the full moon shining light into dark places, you have the Sunrise energy shining light into light places. You're going to have both shining, you know, light shining in both sides, both ends of the spectrum. Observe and ask yourself, what is it that you can learn from, you know, this event, which is the full moon event, okay? Let's get some inspiring messages for Gemini here. Now, Gemini, check out my other channel called Musings from the Past, Present and Future. And in that channel, I do consciousness work and shadow work and uh, live stream classes. So do check it out. Details are below this video. So the card dropped on the floor. Love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to, to be less afraid. Okay, so what you can do is love heals fear. Whenever you are fearful of something, Trust in your own heart and know that love from this is like a lioness, isn't it? The lion within you, which represents bravery, right? Bravery comes from, you know, the bravery combined with love, right? It helps you to be less afraid. Okay, Gemini, I wish you a wonderful full moon season ahead and I will speak with you again soon. Bye for now.